I'm Steve Forbes. You're watching the Traders Nation. Welcome back. You are tuning in to Traders Nation. My pleasure to have back with us once again, Eddie Gabor, co-owner of Key Advisors Group. Eddie, welcome back to Traders Nation. How are you today? I am great. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you're more than welcome. All right, so as unemployment continues to drop here, Eddie, you know, the labor market is, is tightening. What does this mean for wages? Well, I think you're going to start to see wage growth. You know, everybody's been talking about for years wages have been stagnant and we haven't seen wage growth. Yeah. And so this tightening labor market means that uh, employers are going to have to pay to keep quality employees. Uh, and so the labor market is very strong. Yeah. Uh, and from an economic perspective, I think that's very encouraging. I mean, we are a consumer-driven economy. Yeah. So with wage growth comes more money into the economy, which yeah. I think will allow us to continue this expansion that we're currently seeing. Right. So, I mean, does this mean, so somebody's out there looking for a job or somebody's in a position, it really is to their advantage um, that the market is tightening like this because uh, companies are going to have a harder time bidding for the, the, the person that's unemployed uh, to attract that new talent, that great talent, and they're going to have to pay a little bit more for it. This, pretty much what we're looking at right that's exactly right so uh it's been a long time coming but finally sure. yeah. the person looking for the job has the position of strength right now because they know the labor market's tight yeah. and if they're good at what they do they're gonna have to pay up to keep them yeah exactly and i'm telling you what what a breath of fresh air isn't it for for folks uh to be back into this position again a back in a position of power where they can actually almost kind of dictate that um, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm very bullish on that. And, it, and it's a great place for folks to be, it, certainly. I mean, this equates to prosperity, doesn't it, Eddie? It really does. And again, I think it's been long overdue. Yeah. And it's going to be beneficial to everybody indirectly. Seeing wages go up, yeah. people will be able to save more for themselves, put themselves on better financial grounds. Sure. And again, we are a consumer-driven economy. Yeah. So you're going to see more spending going into the economy. I'm liking that. So let's talk about consumer-driven economy because the last administration, basically, we're trying to shred that. I mean, America's really been a consumer-driven economy for decades, if not a century, right? Okay, so um, this last administration, we somehow, and I don't know how, but somehow we got into a government economy. And so shredding this government type of economy, getting back into a consumer-driven economy is going to be beneficial for us, right? It is. I mean, any time you don't need government assistance to get to where you are, that helps everybody. You know, sure. the private sector right now is growing and reinvesting yeah. and hiring, and that's where you want the job growth to come from. You want it to come from the private sector. Sure. And so it's very encouraging to start to see and listen to CEOs and small business owners talk about the fact that their businesses are growing and they're having to hire people yeah. to keep pace with the growth. Sure, sure. All right, so the economy's getting stronger. I want to move on to um, the Fed side because, you know, like you said, like we're mentioning here and it's being reported, we're seeing it, folks getting back to work, uh, jobs market's getting stronger, numbers look phenomenal, okay, and, and, and probably going to be getting better, certainly. Um, good chance we're going to see the Feds uh, hike their rates, right? I don't think there's any question. I think there's three Fed hikes are priced into the market. And, you know, if the economy gets too heated, you know, you could see a fourth rate hike this year. I don't think we'll see four, yeah. uh, but I think we'll uh, something we'll really have to drastically go backwards and not see three. Yeah. Do you think the Fed rate hikes are due to trying to slow the growth of the economy down, control the economy a little bit more, or maybe get some of those tools back in their basket of tools to help control the economy? Because let's face it, when the Feds were down at 0%, they really had nothing in way of tools to help with the economy? I think the latter of the two is more prevalent because yeah. if you don't have any tools to protect against the next recession or yeah. something unexpected that happens, you're mm -hmm. going to put yourself in a very vulnerable position. Sure. Uh, you know, the last thing you want to do is go into negative interest rates. That's not good for anybody. No. So it is actually refreshing. I, um, I'm glad to see the Fed raising rates. I know sometimes the market doesn't like it and right. it scares people, but you have to put it in perspective. Rates are still pretty darn low. They are. You know, uh, and the 10 year, in my opinion, has a bigger impact on the markets than what the Fed does because they're only fe fe uh, affecting the short term rates. Yeah. Yeah, as long as the market can handle that. And, 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 we're, and like you said, the market's already factored in those rates, rate hikes. Um, 
as long as it can handle it and we can keep plugging along and not really i mean cer certainly we may feel a bump in the road right i mean we'll feel it but that, that will last oh, maybe like three absolutely. days but it's, if we can just so cooking it's like this high metabolism in the market is engine that just keeps cooking along like we can absorb those rate hikes right so then it's not such a big big deal is it it's not that's why it's kind of laughable when when people act so shocked when the fed raises rates i mean the one thing the fed has done a really good job of is telegraphing what they're going to do yeah. they've told us what they're going to do so sure. rate hikes initially a lot of times markets will react negatively to it. But yeah. look, at the end of the day, the markets are always going to come back to fundamentals. And right. right now, one could argue that the fundamentals right now are just as strong as they've ever been in our country. Yeah, they certainly have. So certainly there's been volatility in the market. Um, the Fed Fed hike, I'm not too concerned about it. We're anticipating that. It's not, no, it's not a big secret or anything like that. we got this bullish outlook, don't we? Um, and, and we need to be realistic. Again, there's going to be some bumps in the road. But nonetheless, I mean, we're on the road to recovery here, aren't we? We are. I mean, just take a look at the earnings. Now, they're not getting rewarded right now because the market has been very, very choppy, and I think that will be a consistent theme this year. Sure. But we're seeing double-digit revenue growth and profits by yeah. these corporations. They're blowing earnings out of the water, and yeah. they're not being rewarded for it right now in the short term. But at the end of the day, when the dust settles and all the noise goes away, where is going to be a better place to invest in businesses that are growing by double digits? You right. know, you're hard pressed to look back in history and see earnings growth the way we're seeing it right now. Right. So listen, a good example of that, and, and it's really tied into our consumer economy discussion today, is that we're seeing some of these payment processors. Man, you want to talk about earnings? There is a huge gaps ups today on some of these payment processors, Visa, MasterCard, um, or some of them, and certainly this ties into the consumer. These folks are out there spending money because they're optimistic about the market, aren't they? They are, and I think you're going to see that uh, continue in the summer months and going into the rest of this year. I just think you're going to continue to see the economic numbers look strong. You're going to have hiccups. Nothing goes straight up. Sure. Uh, from a market standpoint, you're going to see double-digit drops percentage-wise. But those are just small corrections that are normal in a secular bull market, and I believe we are still in that secular bull market. Right. Um, as we come into um, May, is it May go away again this year? You know what? Who knows? <laughs> How does May go away? So here's the thing. Yeah. Uh, February sure. and March and April have not been real friendly to the market. So no. maybe this year we buck the trend and you should be buying in May. Yeah. Uh, I just think it's too hard to predict on the short-term moves. Yeah. But, I mean, today is a, is a good indication that, you know, some earnings are being recognized. So maybe that 200-point upswing that we have will sure. hold today yeah. and lead to the next leg up. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. We'll have to wait and see, because certainly every year it is a wait and see, isn't it? All right, so lastly, uh, what, what's the takeaways here today before we part of the segment's almost over? What, what, kind of, what should folks be looking at on the investing side long term between now and summer, or maybe even to the end of the year? You know, I think everybody has to work within their risk tolerance. But on the equity side, when you see these double-digit drops, we have been advising to buy the dips as long as it doesn't take your equity position too high that you're uncomfortable from a risk standpoint so we don't think we're heading into a bear market this year there's no recession that we see in 2018 therefore the fundamental support buying the dips as long as you're within your risk tolerance all right so fundamentally folks should just stay focused on those fundamentals and they'll be fine look for opportunities okay eddie where can we find you at where's your website keyadvisorsgroupllc.com all right head on over there today folks key advisors group llc.com head on over there today eddie appreciate your time here on trailers nation thank you you bet have a great day all right stay tuned we'll be right back